Welcome to day 7 of 52 days of rebuilding. The theme for today is this. Don't let your anger control you. My brothers and my sisters, it is said in the world, he who angers you controls you. Let me say this in another way. What angers you also controls you. Anger is not a bad thing. It is a legitimate emotion. But when you let anger control you, you will commit sin. That's why the Bible says in the book of Ephesians 4 verse 26 like this, In your anger do not sin. And don't let the sun go down while you're still angry. In other words, God wants you to deal with your anger today. God wants to address that particular emotion called anger in your life. Maybe when you're looking back and trying to rebuild your life, you may have come to a point of life and say, you know what, because of that person, this thing went wrong. Because of that decision, everything came to a standstill. I don't know how to deal with it. Let me help you today. God is interested in helping you to come out of this anger in Jesus' mighty name. There is nothing that's going to bless you if you're going to sit and brood over something that has happened in the past. Remove that regret out of your life. Move on forward and God will help you to rebuild your life for His glory. Maybe you're saying, I'm paying the price for somebody else's bad decisions. I've been bearing the brunt of somebody else's mistakes. Listen, it's all right because God is in your life right now. There is nothing that God cannot do, including removal of this anger in Jesus' heart. Do not worry. Do not brood over something that has happened in the past. God's going to bless you with a brand new future and he's now helping you to deal with this anger so that you can finish this rebuilding process of your life. The Bible also says in the book of James chapter 1 verse 19 and 20 like this. Everyone should be quick to listen, slow to speak and slow to become angry. Because the human anger does not produce the righteousness that God desires. What a powerful word. In other words, human anger is not something that God would approve of. He wants you to learn to control this anger in your life. Settle it today with the help of the Lord so that you can finish this rebuilding process for the glory of God. I'm going to be praying for you today. Don't let the anger get the best of you. You take charge. You take control over that emotion. And you lead a peaceful life that God desires in your life. Thank you so much for tuning in. God bless you. Bye-bye.